welcome back to my channel elo for life and today i'm going to show you all how to make some bomb ass curls okay some bomb ass curls and i picked up this tool from bedhead um the hair that i'm currently using is actually from my hair company ilovewigs.com this is the loose wave and this is actually the sewing machine wig that i made in a previous video so if you want to check that video out I either leave it in the car, leave it at the end of this video, or I uh, I will also put a link to that video below in my description. So I saw this tool um, from another YouTuber, and I said, oh, I want to try that because them curls look so juicy. So typically, anytime that I'm doing anything with any of my wigs, I generally part them out whether I'm straightening them, I'm going to flat iron them, curl them with a flat iron, so on and so forth. So I just find this process to be a lot easier. Instead of having all the hair uh, in my face at once, I like to do things in sections. So I'm pretty much just gonna section this wig out in three sections, one on each side, and then I'm gonna hit the back. And that's generally like how I do hair anyway. So it's just a lot easier for me, but to each his own. Some people like to break things out in four sections. Or two sections, but I just find doing it in three sections is much easier. So both the sides in the back. So the hair is, I absolutely love this hair. I'm not just saying that because it's my hair company, but I love this hair because this hair does not get uh, tangled, mangled in the back in the nape area. And I've been wearing this hair for quite some time. So let's go ahead and get started, you guys, on these bomb curls oh yeah bomb curls so i'm just um basically combing everything out making sure there's no tangles or anything and it's generally not now the hair has been freshly washed so i did wash it and let it air dry um overnight so it was completely dry and typically what i do is i like this as i'm as i'm parting the hair i like to go where i had actually sewn the track and part the hair that way to me it's just a lot easier when I'm parting the hair uh, in its little sections that I'm going to either flat iron or curl and that's how I like to do it I didn't pin the hair down usually I pin my wigs down but I didn't pin this one down just because I had a um, elastic band on it so it pretty much helped for me so like I said before this tool is from bedhead I saw another youtuber use it and it goes from a setting of low to high and I had it not all the way on high but I had it on um, somewhere between the medium and high settings and of course it does come with its glove so you definitely gonna need that when you're doing these bomb curls and these these are pretty much are like wand curls and I find using this tool is so much easier so if you are a beginner who's never done wand curls before this tool will definitely help you out it's kind of like a guideline um, being able to wrap the hair around the tool without wrapping around in the same spot all the time in the same spot continuously so I'm just making sure at this point I had to switch my hand because I am right-handed so I needed to put that glove on my left hand so that as I'm wrapping the hair around the tool, I don't burn myself. So whatever you hold that, uh, whatever you hold your flat iron hand in or your uh, curling iron hand in, you want to put your glove in the opposite hand of that. So I'm just wrapping this tool around the uh, inner sections of the little balls because as I showed you before, it has like these little bulbs on it. That's how it was designed. And you're just going to wrap the hair around the inner parts of those bulbs. And I tell you what, this makes the job so much easier. Generally, when I'm curling or a flat iron, I use bell clips. And I didn't feel like going through this because it's like 6 o'clock in the morning. And I was trying to get this done before I went to work. But as you look at that, look at, those, look at that curl. And of course, y'all know how I do. I like to speed my videos up. We don't have all day. And we like to get to the point, right? So you're just going to see me here continuously uh, wand curling each and one of my sections. And I'm telling you, the, the, the way that this turned out, 
is absolutely beautiful. Um, the hair has this natural shine. So I did not put any product on this hair whatsoever. I didn't put any type of sheen or what you want to call that. Uh, any type of like hairspray or anything to hold the curls. I'm using this as is. Here that's just my firstly wash. And that is it in, in, in condition. And sometimes when you can wind curl it, the curls will get a little crazy. But all you have to do is pull it at the end. Now, depending on how big you want your curls to be or how small you want the curls to be, um, it really depends on your section, your sections and the size that you're, that you're parting. So if you want smaller curls and a lot more curls, then you would do half the size of what I'm sectioning here. The, the size that I'm kind of using is more like a medium type of size sections when I'm wand curling this. And if you want bigger, looser curls, then you would just do bigger size sections. But I find that this to be fine for me. Um, this process actually took me, because this is like three bundles of hair that I had double wefted it uh, and on, a, on a sewing machine. And it's also a frontal. Um, it took me approximately an hour and a half to get through this and I was trying to get through this before I went to work because I was going to wear it to work and I wanted to get this video done for you guys. So we're just going to keep speeding this up and you guys can continue to watch and I'm not going to show myself filming the entire head curling because that's just absolutely crazy but I wanted you guys just to get the logistics of what I was actually doing and those curls came out beautiful defined curls matter of fact so at this point um i've done pretty much one side of the head and i've done the back of the head and you can see how these curls are turned out so far in the process they're absolutely gorgeous they're absolutely beautiful they're they're um soft and i wanted you to see the comparison of the loose way with me actually curling it with the curling line and you can definitely see a big difference. And it just has so much bounce, you guys. I absolutely loved it. I actually love just curling because I just get a satisfaction of of curling some hair. I don't know why. I just I liked it. I like it when my stuff turned out good. So this is the completed um, curl of me curling everything. And I'm telling you, like I said, it took an hour and a half, but look at that. Look at the sheen on the hair. You hear me? Look at the sheen on that. Um, th this is the natural sheen on the hair. This is without any product whatsoever. The curls are just fluffy, fluffy. They're not stiff. They're just gorgeous. And you can actually pull on these curls with your fingers, which you will see a little bit later in this video. But I just wanted y'all to see this. I didn't even have to speed this up. Y'all just had to see what this looked like for your own eyes. And I did have a little straggly, so I did go back and correct my little stragglies. But like I said before, the hair is from my hair company. I love wigs.com and I am running a special right now, you guys. You can get three bundle special, a two bundle and closure special, or a two bundle and frontal special. So go ahead and check out my website and see if you find anything out there that may interest uh, interest you. And at the end, this is me trying to hurry up and film this at the end, end before I went to work. I just wanted you guys to see this on my head. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. I am absolutely in love. And you can see me pulling on these curls. I was pulling on these curls um, throughout the day. And I'm telling you, these curls were not going anywhere. They weren't going anywhere. Let's pull it on them. They just bounce them back. Oh, my goodness. I just love it. And, and it looks so natural. It looks like, you know, you have relaxed hair or whatever. But if you all enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, rate, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I will see you all in my next video. Until then, God bless.